Did you know about this viewport input in CSS? When using 100VH to size an element to take the full height of the viewport on mobile, it will be larger than the space between the top and bottom bars. This will happen in browsers that shrink their UI on scrolling, such as Safari or Chrome. For the browser, height 100VH means that the element will fill the viewport height but it won't calculate the computed value dynamically. That means the bottom address and toolbar won't be calculated. Because of that, we have an expectation that 100VH will be equal from the top of the viewport to the start of the address bar UI. To solve that, the CSS working group agreed on having a new set of units, SVH, LVH and DVH. They stand of the small, large and dynamic viewport. The small viewport height represents the viewport height when the address bar UI hasn't shrink its size yet. The large viewport height represents the viewport height after the address bar UI shrunk its size. And finally, dynamic viewport height. From its name, this unit is dynamic. That means it will use any of the small, in-between and large units, based on whether the address bar UI is shrunk. During the initial scroll, the dynamic viewport unit will change as the browser UI will shrunk. Catch you later!